everyone, my name is Mason Stoops, and today we're checking out the new Fender Ventera 2 50s Nocaster. I'm a session player here in Los Angeles. I tour with a lot of different musicians like Jackson Brown or Mumford and Sons. You might have heard me play guitar on some records. You might have seen me on tour, but all around I'm just trying to play guitar as much as I possibly can. So this is a Fender Nocaster, and the Nocaster name comes from a very specific time where originally, before they were a Telecaster, it was the Fender Broadcaster when they were first introduced. And then Gretsch reached out to Fender and said, we already have a line of drums called the Broadcaster. And so while while they were coming up with a new name. There was about an eight month period, almost a year, where they didn't have a new name. So instead of stopping production, because why would you do that? They just trimmed the broadcaster name off of the decal. So in 1951, there's a small window of time where you could get a Telecaster before it was called a Telecaster that wasn't called a broadcaster. It just said Fender with nothing else so this guitar is a tribute to that very kind of special window in time where there was no name on the headstock and it was just purely a Fender no caster. So on the 50s no caster, there's all the features that you would hope to see on an original 50s style Telecaster. You have the big single piece maple U-shaped neck with a seven and a quarter radius. You have a three brass saddle bridge. You have 50s style Telecaster pickups. And look at this, they even have the original flathead style screws. Everything's here that you hope to see. This is exactly like a 50s Telecaster. But let's dive in and just hear what it sounds like. I just kept on the neck pickup. That was kind of the original rhythm sound. The idea back then was that all of your rhythm playing happened here and all the lead playing happened back here. So I wanted to just keep to that classic Fender Telecaster rhythmic kind of sound. And so I just hang out in that neck pickup. It's it's dark, but it's still clear and musical and, and kind of chimey in a cool way that is particularly unique to old Telecasters like this. I mean, just look at it. It's the original. This is the shape of Fender. This guitar just truly transports me back to those early kind of Western swing, those early electric guitar days. But if we're talking about Telecasters, obviously the most iconic sound is probably the bridge pickup. So for this next clip, I'm gonna just whoop, switch on to that. Anytime you go to the bridge pickup, you're gonna get more of a percussive sound. It's it's brighter. An early 50s style bridge pickup combined with the brass saddles is like the sound of early country guitar, early Western swing guitar, but it's also the sound of the 60s and 70s of country music. It's it's kind of a sound that'll never go away. It's just like a perfect lead guitar sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
I just kind of turned on some gain, not too much, just a little bit to push the amps into that like kind of edge of distortion vibe. I also tuned the guitar down a half step just to get a little more slinkiness out of it. I know that middle position, it's like literally the sweet spot between the neck and bridge. It's sweeter, but still like kind of really full on the low end. It just brings out kind of a heavy, almost like swampy kind of blues. I mean, anytime you put a little bit of gain on, on a good guitar, the harmonics are gonna jump out. I like a guitar that's a little bit microphonic or a little bit where you're hearing kind of more than just the fundamental. You're hearing the overtones and, and a little bit of drive will really bring those overtones out. Tellys just have a way, like they have a really comfortable way of meeting you halfway with that clear but full but swampy. It's a really particular sound that kind of sits into any mix or, or sits into any kind of style of music. <laughs> This last clip, basically, I took advantage of the two amp setup we have right now. So I have a little bit of a stereo slap happening where you're hearing it here, and then just a moment after it, you hear it in the next amp. And it gives kind of a unique space to the sound that's kind of exciting and, and cool. So there's a combination of that with a fuzz where I've got the volume rolled off on the guitar bit, so it's a little more sputtery. It's like you're, it's kind of a dying battery sound. So as long as you're digging in for that early kind of like 60s rock and roll sound, you can still distort the the fuzz and you'll still get like a huge sound even though your volume is rolled off. And it's not the huge wall of fuzz sound, it's more of kind of a drier and more dead battery sounding fuzz. Rhythm stuff in that world in open tuning with a little bit of that stereo slap is like one of my all-time favorite sounds. As a self-admitted, like, true Telecaster nerd and, like, an absolute Fender nut, this guitar, to me, like, really does hit all the marks for what a 50s Telecaster should have. From just the big maple neck, these 50s-style pickups, the overall look and feel is perfect. to learn more about the new Fender Ventera 2 series 50s no caster you can go to guitarcenter.com you can call one of their expert gear advisors or just check one out in person at your local GC